doing basic gerbil care. So the first thing you'll want when owning gerbils is their enclosure. Now I recommend at least a 20 gallon tank for a pair. Avoid critter trails, they're just not suitable for any animal. They are way too small, they're made of plastic which your gerbils are likely to chew, and the additional expansions are not additional space, they do not count. There is no enrichment in those spaces, just overall avoid the cages that you see at Petco and PetSmart and try to get at least a 20 gallon. Bin cages are tricky with gerbils because they are likely to chew plastic and so you want to make sure that your bin cage is something that's sturdy and they can't get through, at least a very solid plastic if you're going to go with a DIY bin cage. Now with gerbils, bigger is always better and most animals as well. There is a myth that gerbils cannot be in too big of a space because they might declan and become territorial and aggression will appear, but that is just a myth. The gerbils can have space as long as they're completely bonded and enrichment is provided with all the necessary things they need. There should not be a problem. Just make sure your gerbils are completely bonded. Now, you do want to always keep an eye on their behavior because every gerbil's personality is different, so apply this to what suits you. Now, my enclosure is a 63 gallon tank and I have three gerbils and there are no aggression here. So with this, gerbils are social animals and so they do need to be in at least a pair. Now, bonding can be a difficult process if they were not born together. My gerbils, for example, are all siblings. They are all brothers. There was not really a bonding process that I had to go through with them. If you can get gerbils from an ethical breeder, I really recommend this. I know you don't want to support shops, and that's perfectly understandable and that's great, but ethical breeders are okay. They are just as good as adopting, and it will make your gerbil process much easier because they will not need to be introduced to each other in a divided way at first and then a long process of meeting each other. But if you are going through the bonding process, I will make a video on that later. I just did not have the required gerbils to do such a video right now since they are brothers. I can't really make a bonding process video, but there are some others on there that you can look up and always do your own research when getting in an animal. But again, especially with siblings, there should be no signs of declanning at all or aggression because even in a 63 gallon tank or above, they will be fine because they love each other <laughs> and they are happy with their space. The next thing you need to know about gerbils is bedding. Bedding is so important with gerbils because they are borrowing animals and so they like to have a thick layer of bedding and also they will decorate it how they want. Gerbils will always choose the style that they want of their enclosure. You have no control. So just make sure that you do have a designated area for their wheel, water, and sand bath because they need those to stay clean. I have a divider made out of cardboard right now. That's gonna be glass soon, but I use it so to keep that area clean from the bedding so that they can do whatever they want with the bedding. And they will create tunnels, they will dig holes, you will see a lot of different areas and, and chances are if you don't see this activity, you don't have enough bedding. So six inches of bedding is just a bare minimum to have. There's actually 15 inches of bedding in here. Of course, they've spread it how they like, so some areas are more sloped than others but at least six inches, though I recommend eight inches and above. So types of bedding you can use include paper-based bedding, KT, Clean and Cozy, or Carefresh are great options. You wanna stay away from wood shavings made out of cedar and pine. 
Those are toxic to rodents and you should not use those. But aspen wood shavings are perfectly safe. And you can also use hay. Hay is not only a good bedding source, but they also like to use it to file down their teeth and just go through them and look for seeds as well. Just like hamsters, gerbils are desert animals, and so they do not need a water bath. This will ruin their fur and cause destruction to their oils and are just overall bad. So sand baths are better. And do not use calcium sand or any kind of sand with additives. You can use playground sand and bake it so there are no pests inside. Just make sure that it is sand and not dust because the dust will ruin their respiratory system. Because they are desert animals, a lot of people also think that you don't need to have water provided a lot, but that is not true. Even as desert animals, they still need water at all times, and the fact that you get to provide that freely for them whenever they want, you should do so. So always have a water dish or a water bottle. I prefer the water dishes to water bottles so they can drink the water naturally, but it is up to you. Just make sure they always have water at hand, a sand bath, and a wheel. A wheel of at least 8 inches for gerbils is fine. 6 is okay if they're smaller, maybe 1 month old. But as they are 4 months old, they should really be provided with a bare minimum of an 8 inch wheel. 10 inches are fine as well, and 12 inches are great too. Gerbils should be provided with a healthy diet. You want to stay away from foods with coloring as well as way too many seeds of fat and just in general too many fillers. I will be making a diet video for gerbils but I also have a homemade diet video up if you want to take a look at that. Um, in some countries it's not as easy to find a good healthy mix or even combining mixes like you would with hamsters because certain brands are not available. So I made my own. I did all the research for the nutrients and everything if you want to check that out. But again, I'll be making a video on their diet completely. They also want to have a source of greens, so vegetables should be provided every day. And they also need a bit of dried flowers as well. Those provide many vitamins and minerals and they are generally very healthy for gerbils as well. And they are great foraging items as well. How many times have I said as well? <laughs> so cage cleaning for your gerbils does not have to be once a week or even twice a week. In fact, I really recommend maybe once a month and every week do some spot cleaning. Now with gerbils, it is kind of tricky to know where they decide to pee. So what I like to do is just look on top for any yellowing and that's the great thing about white bedding. And then also because they spend a lot of time in their burrows, I just take some out, some bedding out of the bottom as well. You can also feel around for wet spots. It's a little bit gross, but hey, you're dealing with an animal here, and you're the parent. So yeah, cleaning does not have to be often. In fact, too much cleaning will make them lose their scent, and they will feel out of place and just stress them out further. So try not to do a full cleaning and keep it minimal. Now again, enrichment is very important for gerbils. This will help them to keep occupied and not get bored and start gnawing on things they shouldn't be. So in great enrichment includes food, obviously. I recommend sprinkling the food around the cage instead of putting it in a dish because this makes them have to look for it as they would have to in the wild. And it's just a natural behavior in general, so it's very good to do that. And you can also do this with their dried herbs, such as flowers. This provides great stimulation. Now you can also provide wheat sprays, millet sprays, and flax sprays. These are great foraging. They have to work to get the seeds out of the seed pod, and this is also a natural behavior, so it's great for enrichment. Of course, other enrichment includes wooden chews or paper, so you can use cardboard tubes as chews as well and also chala wood. Just make sure the wood that you're using is not just straight from outside and, you know, pests and diseases could be within it. There are a great amount of variety of wooden shoes in stores like Petco and PetSmart, so you could always look at any kind of store for those. But gerbils especially really love chewing, so 
definitely always provide wooden shoes for them. Not only does the wooden shoes provide a boredom breaker for them, but it also helps to file down their teeth, which are constantly growing. So this is a great way for them to keep it filed to a length where it does not affect them negatively. And also huts and Heidi's. So this is because gerbils need to feel com comfortable and safe and this will provide them a space where they are a little bit enclosed and they can do whatever they want, have some privacy, and you want to include that in their sand bath as well. So again, have, have places where they can hide and get to easily. But that is it for this basic gerbil care video. I hope you learned something and I hope this helps with your gerbils or soon to be your gerbils. Gerbils are wonderful animals and they deserve to be treated with respect. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more gerbil content and like and comment on the video. That's all for now. Bye guys!